Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Style Saturday. So this video is going to be short skirts or mini skirts styled for fall. I mentioned in last week's Style Saturday we did flare and bootcut jeans. That and mini skirts were both highly requested, so this week we're going to do short skirts. I don't own mini skirts, in my opinion anyways. I do own one black ASOS skirt that we're going to use for most of the outfits in this video. And then per usual, in Taryn fashion, we are going to throw in a wild card. I have another skirt that's about the same length as the black one that's got a little bit of color to it, so I thought it would be fun uh, for me to throw in this wild card. Now, if you're not familiar with Style Saturday, the point is to not spend any money. We are pulling items we already own from our closets and recreating them into fall transition type outfits. I always go to Pinterest for my inspiration, so you'll see the Pinterest photo on the screen and then obviously my recreation using pieces I already own. I will link my Pinterest board in the description box down below if you are interested. Also, I would like for y'all to recreate some of these outfits using the hashtag Style Saturday with Taryn. I will put it here on the screen. Yes, it is long, but that was the only free hashtag that I could use that uh, sort of went with this series because I want to see your recreations. I will also try my very best to find these items you're about to see and link them in the description box down below. However, again, the point is not to spend any money. So I think we have five, four or five outfits plus a wild card. I'm excited for this one because this skirt reminds me of summer. So it'll be good for me too to recreate it and use it for other seasons. So if you wanna see this week's outfits, then keep watching. Let's start with this outfit first. So this is the ASOS black skirt I was telling you about. I figured I would pair it with a brighter colored top versus the black one in the photo. So I have this really pretty salmon coral color, long sleeve, lightweight top, the brand is Caslon. This is a Kato leopard print belt. And then I have little tan booties with my initial on them. This turned out so much cuter than I thought it would be. I love the high neck of the top. It is super light. Um, so it's not too warm, but you could also throw on a jacket or a scarf uh, to warm it up a little bit. So I'm very proud of this one. And here's what it looks like from the back. All right, so outfit number one, I think we're off to a pretty good start. Next outfit is super casual. This is more my vibe. Though the first one I do really like, this is just, I don't know, it's something about white sneakers that I really love. So in the photo, it looks like she is wearing a white or cream colored top blue jean skirt and white sneakers. So this is my take on the outfit. This top, I'm not sure of the brand. I will leave it in the description box down below. I got it, I'm pretty sure, in a trunk club. It's super cozy. It is a bit thinner, so if it's not super cold outside, this would be perfect. The same skirt, the ASOS one. And then these are Cole Haan, just white sneakers. And I've tucked the front end to sort of mirror the image. Here's what it looks like from the back. So I do like this one. Um, I wouldn't have thought to pair these together just because the skirt I feel like is a little bit dressy, but I like the way that it looks with this dressed down top and the sneakers. So I do have cooler weather, like dressier things. So let's do one of those next. How cute is this one, y'all? So I opted for this darker top. In the, in the photo, she's wearing a white top. And I do have one that's sort of similar, um, but it was a little bit see-through. And I kept this one from a recent Eloquate Elements video, and I just thought it would be a little bit more fall-esque with this outfit. So I just threw on tights, a pair of little black booties, tuck the top in. I love the ruffles. Makes it a little bit dressier in my opinion. And here's what it looks like from the back. I love this top. I kept it thinking it would be great for videos because it does have this bit of ruffle here. Um, and then I also thought it would be great with skinny jeans because it is a little bit dressier. So I'm glad I have found an additional way to style it. While I have the tights and these booties on, I threw on this Madewell cropped cream colored sweater. I feel like you may have seen this in every single Style Saturday up to date. 
I just, I think it's such an easy basic um, and I've had a lot of fun styling it different ways. So this photo, uh, she's wearing more of a grayish taupey color sweater. I can tell she's wearing tights, but I can't see her shoes. So we're just gonna go with these booties because I feel like that's probably the type of shoe she would be wearing. Um, I like this one too. I like the tights. I think it really dresses up an outfit, um, especially with the booties. And when you front tuck it, it gives it a little bit more shape, though it's kind of cute like that too. Um, but I think it looks cuter front tucked. And here's a look at it from the back. If we got anything out of these Style Saturday videos, it's how to style this cream color crop sweater. This is from Madewell, by the way. Um, again, it will be linked if I can find it in the description box down below. I like this. I almost paired a dark sweater. I guess I was in dark vibes because I just had on that green colored top, but I think the white um, is a really great pop of color. All right, this outfit, we're pulling out the tried and true Bella Rose graphic distress tee, the only one that I have like this. I put on this leopard print belt again. I know in the photos she's wearing, it sort of looks like combat boots. The only boots I own that are similar or that could work are those Ralph Lauren ones, and you've seen them a million times. So I opted for these super cute leopard print sneakers. I know in last week's video, I was kind of worried about mixing animal print, like the patterns, um, but most of y'all in the comment section said you thought it was okay. So we're gonna go for it. And that's what we're gonna do in this outfit. So I think this is so cute. I know I've said all of them have been my favorite so far, but this one may really be my favorite. Just a cute and casual look. Here's a close up too of the tee and the belt. And here's a look at the back of the outfit. These shoes are from Tea for the Soul. I got them a while ago, um, but I think they're just perfect for this outfit. So this one could be a favorite too, though I know, like I said, that I've said that a lot. All right, so this is the last outfit with the skirt. And um, I do have another one that I wanna show you that's a bit of a wild card. And this is the final outfit, the wild card. So this skirt came from Asprilla Plus a while ago. I styled it this exact same way with this same top from Asprilla, but with just white sneakers. So I thought for fall, we would throw on these Rue 21 over the knee boots. I love this skirt, the color block. It's almost like patchwork looking. Um, I don't own anything like this. It's like a faux suede material with a silver zip all the way up the front. Here's what it looks like from the back. I will say I do like this outfit a little bit better with the white sneakers, but because I have these boots and we are going into cooler weather or some of y'all are already in cooler weather, then this is a great option to style this skirt. Um, I don't really know what other colors to wear with it because it's a bit of a combination of colors. So I guess that's why I thought white was probably the best option. But this is super comfy. I think it's a great length, a great fit. It doesn't have any stretch to it, um, but I think it sits really pretty on the body. All right, that's a wrap on all of the outfits. Let me know in the comment section down below your favorite. I think my favorite and the one that I would truly wear out of my house somewhere is the one with the distressed tee and the leopard sneakers. Adorable. I think that one is so cute. Y'all know I love animal print though. And that's probably why I really like the first one too with the coral long sleeve top, the leopard belt and the tan booties. But I still like to hear what y'all like. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also comment and leave suggestions for future style Saturdays because I'm having a lot of fun and I think that y'all are really enjoying watching them as well. So thanks again for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.